The amazing thing about parenthood is how it teaches you to become unselfish. You have this little one who hopefully develops a sense of mercy in you for their inability to take care of themselves without your attention. This is probably the Lord's way of giving us a taste of the love He feels for all His children. His love is completely unconditional, but I don't think there's any better example of it on earth than the sincere parent. We usually give our undivided attention to that which is most important to us, and children certainly fall into that category. You probably strive to provide the very best for them. My question is, will you do the same when it comes to God? We do have a tendency to give the Lord whatever time is left over at the end of our week, or month, or year in some cases. Has anyone ever neglected you, maybe not called you for a while, or forgetting your birthday? And when we are convicted of how we haven't given our all to the things God desires us to focus on, we don't fully recognize the impact it has on the Lord. Because he has such big shoulders and can handle everything, we use this as a subconscious excuse to neglect his desires and leading in our lives. But according to the word of the Lord in Malachi 1.14, God makes it clear that those who give him their second best are not appropriately recognizing his authority in their lives. Are you reverencing the Lord, friend? Do your priorities put him at the top of your list each day? You are to not grieve the Spirit of the Lord who seals you until the day of redemption. I encourage you to recognize God's covering in your life and daily give Him glory for it.